Hello and welcome to Dream Team Coach TV. I'm Sean Burke. Joining me is Andy Taylor, Henry Lewintis, and Graham Marshall. That's it. I think I've finally been defeated, Graz. Oh, it feels good to not have that. <laughs> I, I, th I thought we were done with it when you, when you did it in a different order last week, when you gave everyone footballers' names. So that was a nice send-off in a way. That was a dying roar, really. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you never know. Now we just need to kill the mystery word next. Speaking, <laughs> yeah. speaking of which, it's still going. Oh, no. So if you want to play along and you don't want to know what it is, look away now. Okay. Good to go. What a week of European football it's been. Man City have been knocked out by Lyon. Wolves and Man United have been knocked out by Sevilla. And Barcelona lost 8-2 to Bayern Munich. To be fair, one of those Barcelona goals was a lovely finish. David Alaba is wasted as a defender. <laughs> so, Henry and Andy, neither of you could beat Sevilla. So, I guess the question is, who's the bigger bottler? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what Andy's going to say. Well, United, because, uh, because, to be fair, we are. I mean, we, we got to three semifinals this season, lost all three of them. That um, is a bad record, that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, we still got to three semifinals. So, Graham, how many did you get to this season? So, <laughs> uh... um, <laughs> you got to say, Sevilla are just a very good team and they just know how to win these these games, you know? Europa League yeah. games, specifically. Yeah. specifically. Well, you say that, but also just games. They're on what, like a, they're in like a 20 game unbeaten run now, I think, in all competitions. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can write off Sevilla. They just I'm might have to to really hoping it's a good final because like you say, Inter did look really good going forward. Mm. Uh, but I mean, Sevilla, to beat both of you guys when Man United in this like restart had been, you know, quite good. Bruno Fernandes gets his penalty. As is tradition. As is tradition. Yeah. yeah. Um, although it was funny that that was probably like, I mean, we can discuss whether we thought that was a penalty or not, but there was a later one that was definitely more of a penalty. Yeah. That he didn't get, which was weird. <laughs> that was just like completely overlooked. But Sean, I think you're being a bit harsh saying that Wolves bottled it. I just think we um, just ran out of steam, to be quite honest yeah. with you. It did look like a team that had run out of steam, particularly that I mean, second half. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm sure we've touched on it last week, so yeah, I'm not yeah. going to go on too much, but. Yeah, we've been playing for over a year. Um, everyone just looked knackered. We just weren't very good. Um, simple as that, really. I'm happy mm. to take that on the chin. I think it genuinely is a best in disguise that we're not in the Europa League next year. I do think, so. just going back to the United City game, like, that period in the second half, we, that, that first like, 15 minutes, we absolutely battered them. And their keeper is outstanding. But I don't know what. Like, we were just trying to play such intricate football in the box. We think, mm. come on, just... Like, You're missing a, a striker miss. such as Lukaku, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you were, well, or Igalo. Like, why did Solskjaer wait until the 91st minute to put Igalo on? It's like, yeah, but like, I think it's because he's got one way of playing Solskjaer. He's like, mm. if Martial doesn't do it for me, I'm not confident in it. And, and well, yeah, Martial had a, a definite off night. But are you really that bothered about going out? It would have been nice to. It would have been nice to get to a. To get to final, but you're not you're not buzzing about it, are you? It would have been nice to get there. Mm. I was I was gutted. It's I was gutted when we lost it. You reckon? Yeah, I was. I was genuinely gutted. Like I, were you not gutted to lose yours, Andy, like, against the beer? Would you not oh, rather I'm add? Absolutely gutted. But I'm saying we're two different clubs. Like my whole point is that if Man United win the Europa League, I don't think any of us fan is giving them any credit for it anyway. They're not going to be like, oh, nice one, lads. You've won the second tier European competition. Mm. I, no, I would. I I still really wanted to win that competition. I wanted us to get silverware this season. Well, there's a silver lining as well, Henry, in that Man City were knocked out of the Champions League as well. It seems like so much has happened. Well, so much has happened really yeah. since we last talked. But I don't think we particularly saw that coming. I think not even a bit. I I I don't know. I said I did. I think I said last week that I think there could be one that they slip up on. What what, yeah. what I think we all agreed on was that the. You know, one fixture knockout could hmm. be a sticking point for a lot of teams, which, True. which we've definitely seen. Yeah. I mean, I don't think any of us yeah. quite predicted City to just bottle it the way they did. I, I don't think any of us could have predicted that formation Sterling. change. And like, you know, yeah, the Sterling miss and like just, I just, they seem like a totally neutered side. Like, I don't mm. know why they played in such a negative way. Yeah. If we didn't know already, um, Ooh, I think that confirms that Klopp is a far better manager than uh, Pep. You know, when people look at the mm. Premier League at the moment, they go, oh, it's, it's, it's Pep v. Klopp, really, don't they? No, no one else gets anywhere near them. Yeah. But I just think Pep's just gone a little bit too coy there. He's tried to be so 
He's over tactics. He's, like, yeah. he's just trying yeah, to be yeah. like a trailblazer every yeah. game. He's like, oh, the, all the world's going to be watching me here, so I'm going to try something a little yeah. bit. I need, to, I need to do something that Pep Guardiola would do. It's like... To outthink him. And yeah. playing against no, Leon, no. mate. They're, they're yeah. seventh in the French League. You just don't have to do anything different. Just play what you've been doing all season yeah. that allowed you to beat teams five and six nil. Obviously, I is way better manager than I <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I Ever get I don't it. know, mate. I've taken Manchester United to a lot of chances. <laughs> yeah, you've played a lot of footy manager, haven't you, mate? Yeah. He does not give a toss what I say about him, but I think he knows that he's made a mistake there. Um, yeah. Do you think that could be the end of him or the beginning of the end? For uh, Man City, at least. I reckon, he's, I reckon he'll have one more season. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think if he, doesn't, if he doesn't sort of recover from this and oh, yeah. really push on against Liverpool, who was so far ahead of them in the league, that I think could be the end of effort, at Man City. Yeah, if he doesn't, if he doesn't challenge the league next season, he'll he'll throw a big strop and he'll uh, yeah, he'll get out. I just think Liverpool are just going to be the team of this current generation. I think for the next three or four years, they're just going yeah. to be and then when Klopp leaves, it will kind of die off again. Do you see that thing about Klopp where he was sort of saying, "I'm going to go until the end of my contracts and then take a year off, mm. and then if I don't yeah. if I don't uh, fancy it after that, I'll retire." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean to, to be fair though, crazy though. though. Do you, do you think he's looking at you know people like Mourinho and Pep who had this had this kind of Halcyon era, golden this period time yeah. when their football was just winning everything, mm. and then you you go all right you build this team you win everything you can you move to another team try and play the same football and actually we're seeing the now moved on, moved yeah. On. yeah Mourinho's yeah. style of play isn't winning football anymore. Well, I mean Pep, the, it, Pep, Pep's style of play continues to win football at Man City, but I mean if you look at uh, Barcelona if we're still talking about the European stuff they have never moved on from the football that, that Pep instilled in that club and it led to an 8-2 defeat to yeah. Bayern Munich who ran out at rampant against them they've got speaking of Bayern Munich Pep didn't didn't really win the league but he didn't he didn't um, get into a Champions League final I think Graz did you say Halcyon earlier I did yeah. but I just, just that's something that I would say <laughs> That's just the kind of thing Graz yeah. says. He's yeah. a smart guy, and he just dishes these words out left and right. Uh, it's not the mystery I've words. I've never heard that used in a sentence. So, and you're saying that's just regular. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, he's that's an intellectual, Andy. Wow, we're we're mixing in different social circles. <laughs> <laughs> News has come through this week that Man City will be erecting a statue of David Silva outside their stadium in honor of his glory-ridden ten-year stint at the club. Paul Ince thought it was a bit much, saying, I think that's a bit over the top. You don't see a statue of Henri and Burkham outside their stadium. <laughs> Except you do, Paul. Uh, specifically those two as yeah. well. Of all the players you <laughs> could have chosen in the Premier League. Some people say a statue shouldn't be erected of someone unless they're dead. A fair point, but David Silva is notoriously hard to catch and I'm not volunteering for the job. <laughs> Does he deserve a statue, lads? I think the biggest question we've got to ask is which hairstyle are they going to give him? Yeah, <laughs> bald it's, David Silva. Well, his, his, hair, his bald, hair's gone through such an incredible renaissance yeah. at, at Man City. Maybe if, if they do him with his barnet now, they could save a bit of money and get sponsored by the lads who do this hair transplant. <laughs> Man City <laughs> love making money, you know, it's just a little that's, money. That's you know. I, mean, I was looking he's... into the uh, proposed direction. and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to... Obviously, the whole of the... So, the whole... Twitter world wants it to just be a bit of banter, don't they? You know, mm. we like David Silver, what's he actually done? Mm. Like, I've seen a lot of that going, you know, oh, you didn't see, I didn't, haven't seen company get one, which they have actually commissioned a company one, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, but I was actually looking into it and I was like, I don't mind it actually. I mm. really don't mind it because if you think a statue's got to be kind of uh, a beacon for a generation of football, right? Mm. Of, of that club. And mm. David Silver is part of the new wave. Whether it's got horrendous morals behind it and who they are owned by, he's won four Premier League titles, one of which was the first one they won in this regime. I think the first title since 1968. He's played over 400 games. And I actually think he's a bit underrated. We all yeah. love him. Mm. And everyone knows he's a class player. But he's always been in the shadow of, I'd say, Aguero particularly. When you think Man City, you're like, oh, Aguero. Do you think, do you think he's having like the same kind of media renaissance as he's retiring as Paul Scholes had because Scholes is like exactly the same but when, when he was playing everyone was like oh yeah Paul Scholes, Scholes great midfielder as soon as he announced his retirement 
it was like Chavi's like, yeah, Scholes is the greatest midfielder I've ever seen. If he was Spanish, you'd won the Ballon d'Or. And it's it's literally like the same things happen. Like everyone's like two years ago, yeah, David Silvia is class, isn't he? Now oh, he's one of the best the Prem's ever seen. I don't know, maybe it does just maybe just players all that leaving does make you become uh I'm more aware of them. This always happens. You, know, you don't know what you got until it's gone, sort of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I do I do agree with you there, Andy, that like if you look at it, if you frame it in that way, I think if you look at it as a David Silva getting a statue and you just you just don't give it any context, it's like He's been in the Prem for a few years and he's done well, but like, has he, you know, is he a legend or anything? But then you think he's a legend for Man City because Man City mm. club didn't have, have no history, didn't have that kind mm. of, of legend in terms of winning titles and, and being at the very tippy top of the, of the game. I think the bigger very question, true. lads, the bigger question is uh, are they actually going to get the statue right? Because just mm. I'm just casting mm. my mind back to the Ronaldo, like Neanderthal looking <laughs> freak show that that was. I think you need to personally. I think you need to just wait a while. Like well, he's at been least retired, essentially. Years. I think, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, I looked at the Henri one, and he wasn't retired when they they put yeah. that outside. It's because of it being like a new stadium at the time. And you just think, like, I know you want to decorate your new stadium, make it look more like a a home or whatever. But do you not think? I mean. He's still going to be a legend, isn't he? If if you wait until he retires, yeah, you're not going to turn around and go, "Oh, do you know what? He was at Sociedad for like maybe it's a season or two, and now we don't like him anymore." Mm, yeah. yeah, that's not that's not going to happen, is it? I mean, I don't want to be incredibly cynical about this, but I'm going to. It is just it is just something for tourists to take a picture in front of, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, meme. If you want to go faster, it's that part of the week. Each one of our panelists has created a meme over on the Dream Team Instagram page. And you folks get to vote for your favourite, right? Let's see what we've got. All right. Okay. Is this oh. yours, Andy? Oh. This is mine, yeah. yeah. It's, just a bit, it's, a, it's a bit of a timid video, to be quite mm. honest. Oh, yeah, it's I not think like it's a little muggy level. But, you know, right. the, the truism still stands, I think. <laughs> the dog's face is great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next up. Yes. Oh, this, the, is a, again, this is an old but gold. Old but gold yeah. clip. Oh. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh, getting a lot of stick in the comments, isn't I, it? I was getting a lot of stick in the comments because obviously last season there were four teams so in, in, the, in the final. Uh, but if I have to write in the 1920 <laughs> season yeah. on every single meme, then I think, like, you know, it's a different year, it's a different meme. Yeah. Oh, okay. And for the final one, now this is fantastic source. Thank superb, you. Superb. You could have put anything on there, I think, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it is a good, it is a good like idea. It, well. Good, good context as well, right? Yeah, and I love the reveal. The, oh, uh, the, the, the car, the, yeah. yeah, 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 beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> mm. Once away, prem players is a lovely <laughs> bit of phrasing. Like yeah, I wasn't sure how to how to phrase it, but then yeah, I really <laughs> like that. I really like that. Well, we will find out the results. At the end of the show, so stick oh, no, around to find out. I be shocked without Jack. No. <laughs> yeah, I can hear Jack going, what? Yeah. what? Again? The transfer rumour mill is in full flow now, with players and managers alike playing an international game of musical chairs. Ronald Koeman, Willian, Wenger, Havertz, Silva, Ronaldo. There's even talk of Messi leaving Barca, which would be... The second least expected transfer after Joe Hart went to Spurs. Lads, yeah. <laughs> um, we're just getting started, and already it's silly season with stuff like that. That that transfer reeks of last day of the transfer window. Um, well, first of all, Andy, we kind of talked about this last week when we, we you weren't here, but I'm going to ask you: Do you see Wolves being busy this summer? I don't know if we've got enough time to be. To be quite honest with you, like well, it runs it runs to October, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I know, but I just feel like we're the sort of club that doesn't want to do too much business before all the like after the season starts because we've yeah. got a philosophy. Nuno wants to work with the team a lot in pre-season. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think we will be doing too much business. Obviously, the main thing for us is keeping older players. But again, I think that's where the window being so short. I know it's not short in, in length, but in terms of to the start of the season, that might help us keep hold of Jimenez. Well, to be honest with you, the fact that Jimenez was bang average in that game against Sevilla and Mr. Pennell <laughs> might also go in our favour. Because yeah. a lot of people would have been watching him going, ooh, actually, do I want to be paying 80 million for him? Um, so maybe maybe that's what his plan was. Maybe Nuno's told him to just, just to stay. throw yeah. in a terrible performance and just put everyone off. I think you, both you boys, Spurs, well, all three of you, you probably, recruitment is way more important for all three of you. 
Like, I think the one actual, I mean, I'm not going to include Joe Hart in this because I think the reason we signed mm. Joe Hart. Great signing. Great I, think we signed, I, I think we signed him for his juicy, juicy British passport. Yes, you did. Yeah. Anything else. <laughs> um, uh, but I, I, think, I think it'd be good. Not his big neck. Up. Not his <laughs> massive neck. I'll get that on the screen when you say, uh, that is ridiculous. I thought it was a Photoshop. Who's got, who's got a longer neck? Him or um, Zlatan? I think, him, I think him personally. If Joe Hart wears a bow tie, is it? <laughs> <laughs> if Joe Hart wears a turtleneck, I'm going to miss a turtleneck. Your, your season hinges on the fitness of Harry Kane. Pure and simple. That is it. If he plays every game for you, you'll, you'll probably be top four. Because yeah. he, scores, he scores 30 to 35 goals if he plays every game. That's yeah. just a fact. Yeah. And mm. you're not, you're not, not going to be picking up wins when he's scoring that many goals. So, I mean, I don't know. Why don't you just invest in like the best physios in the world and just 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 put look, oh, just yeah. have him twenty four seven with mm. with Harry Kane. Just he just has to walk around with an entourage of physios everywhere he goes. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> and well, now we glanced over briefly earlier, but Barcelona lost eight mm. two, uh, which has led to talk of Messi, dare I say, actually leaving the club. Mm. I mean. This kind of happens every year the past yeah. couple of years, but do you think it could actually happen this time? Sure. It's as hard as it is to imagine Messi anywhere else but Barcelona. Yeah. Yeah. Really, you just the two are synonymous, but what do you think? Sean, can you just lean in? I want to tell you like a really um, intimate media secret, right? Yeah. Um, journalists write articles with outrageous headlines to get people to click on them. Yeah, it's a clickbait. It's a clickbait, yeah. I think. Yeah. What? You mean yeah. not everything I read in the newspapers is true? Apparently not, no. You can't read a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> you know. you mean I don't, you know, I don't yeah. have to read newspapers? <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, he clearly wasn't happy at the end of the game, but no. it, it's that's. He that's wouldn't just... be happy. The Manchester yeah. State, too. If mm. anyone was shoveling around that pitch going, I've had a great sign, <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. Like, yeah. They, need to, they need to just stop playing football. Let, mm. never, never mind uh, leaving Barcelona. He won't leave that club, in my opinion. Yeah, until he I is don't... very close to retiring and maybe does one season with his like Newell's old boys where he, yeah. where he started, like mm. just as a sort of you know farewell tour around Argentina. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I, I don't I think mean... uh, anyone can afford him to be quite honest yeah. as well. <laughs> no, yeah. like, How much to... 33 years old, you're probably gonna have to pay about 400 million for him, mm. let but, alone his wages on top of that. It's just even, even I mean, Jack's Jack's Jack saying here, PSG and Man City, I mean. They're yeah, probably the money, but still. Like. I, I honestly don't think they could even justify it on FFP, no. you know? Because Messi, yeah. in terms of the fame that he brings, you'd have to spend maybe 400 is a bit. You'd probably have to spend like 250 at least. For, yeah. a, thir- yeah. for a 33 year old who, you know, his entire game is based on his agility, his kind of, he's still quite quick as well. I'm not saying he can't do it for another few years, but he is going to start dropping off. You are going to see his numbers fall in. Mm. Did you see they got uh, Eric Abadal to sack uh, Kike Setien and then sacked Eric Abadal? Yeah. Is that how they did it, really? Because yeah. yeah. I heard they've both been sacked. Yeah. But... <laughs> they got him to sack the manager as like the sporting director or whatever he was. And then we're like, and, and also, cheers for doing that. You are sacked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and when you finish doing that, can you sack yourself on the way out as well? Yeah, yeah cheers. As we speak, Komen has actually been appointed as boss yeah, manager. On a two Which I think is a good... Yeah. Breaking Wouldn't. news, which won't be breaking when this comes out. No, yeah, it'll be well, a couple of days old by the time this goes out. But. Also, let's not feel sorry for Barcelona, not that anyone would. But this is like, they, this is them you know, sleeping in the bed that they've made. They brought it on they, themselves, they've yeah. spent like probably what, close to a billion, billion euros on players over the last like wow. eight, nine years. And think yeah. about how many players they've signed, right? And how many of them actually improved that team. Like yeah. you still you still look at the at the spine of that squad and you go yeah those are still lads who are in that squad when um, when Pep was in charge yeah it's it's shocking like their recruitment is so so bad I mean look like Griezmann how much they spend on him or some of Dembele how much they spend on him some of before yeah give them made an impact on that squad the the best example of it was Coutinho who they bought yeah. for what eighty to a hundred million who then <laughs> on his loan away from them scored two that, goals that's, against. That's, that's yeah, yeah. the point too is that like you know it's not necessarily the players they're buying. I don't think anyone's going to look at Griezmann, you know, World Cup winner the previous season, mm. and and go, I he wasn't a good signing for Barcelona. Yeah, He's really a good player. There is something. They're just not getting anything out of him. Yeah, not getting anything out of him. Griezmann's top, top, top draw. Like yeah. he's one of the best players in the world. Mm. And he should be doing more than what he's doing. And Definitely. he has done up until going to Barca. So something's not right. 
This weekend, we have something really special, a European final double header. Gazprom are going to have so much exposure, we <laughs> might even find out what they actually do. <laughs> In a cracking resumption of both competitions so far, but there can be only one winner, well, two, this weekend. So, who's going to win the Champions League, first of all? Who are your predictions, lads? Uh, Henry? I'm going to go by Munich. Yeah. Um, well, uh, if they make it through the semi-final, yeah. which I'm imagining they will, um, they've been my kind of my pick from a, from Operation Restart. I just think they're just so good and composed all over the park. They've got Lewandowski in the form of his life, which is outrageous when you consider the form he's been in the last three to four seasons. Everywhere on that pitch, they've just got world class players, and then you look at their bench as well. You just mm. go, yeah, it's just incredible. And also, just for just for the just for the banter of um of. Barcelona having to pay Liverpool, I think it's like 10 million euros if Coutinho wins the Champions League. We just have yeah. an Alfonso Davis appreciation uh, moment here for just mm. how mm. unbelievable he is considering how young he is. Like to be doing that to Barcelona, yeah. uh, like, what is he, 19 even or mm. 20, maybe 20? Unreal. Unreal. Believe the hype. Like it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it just shows the importance of a good scouting system, though. Mm. Yeah. Like, they signed it from Vancouver. Yeah, you just got to be clever about it, though, isn't it? It's like mm. some football teams are just so often reactive these days, and they just want to mm. just throw seventy million pounds. But actually, if you if you get it at source, young lads are yeah. going to trust the Bundesliga clubs as well. It's proven now for the past yeah. few years that if you're young and talented, you get a game. Yeah. Whereas, let's be quite honest, it's so ruthless in the Premier League. I know United have had Rashford and one or two others, but generally, like most top clubs, just don't have the time to yeah. give these young lads an opportunity. Yeah. I would um, go to I'd, if my lad was a top footballer. I'd say go to Dortmund. Just literally yeah, go there now. Don't go near Dortmund. a Premier League club. Every time yeah. I hear someone going to Dortmund, I'm like, oh, I'll keep an eye on them. They'll be like unreal in the future. Like, yeah. Bellingham's debut, I think, in yeah. a friendly it was unreal. Like him and Got Sancho well, linking up. Funny. Sticking back to the the final predictions, Graz, who are you going for in the Champions yeah, League? It is hard to look past uh, Bayern Munich, but like if they get Mbappe, Neymar having the game of their lives. Mm. That attack is something else when, when yeah. you actually look at that. I, I, I'd like to see a good game, but I do think Bayern will pick it up. Andy, yeah. predictions? Well, just before, I, I think it's Bayern Munich, but I just think yeah. um, I was watching the, uh, the PSG Leipzig game and I just, I just don't like Neymar. I just can't get on board with him yeah. at all. And I know I'm in the minority there because so much, yeah, you are. So, so, young, so many young football fans these days put him on such a pedestal and they love him. I just cannot get on board with him. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, he's he's like the epitome of everything I hate about the modern footballer. To yeah. be honest. Again, like I know he's got talent, but he just ruins it with all this unnecessary but he, but he, nonsense. But, he, but maybe he's just one of the most cleverest people in the world and he know that's what the modern football fan wants. Mm, yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day he's got a lot more money than I have. I tell you that's mm-hmm. right now. You know, he's played well this year, to be fair to him, but up until this year, I've not really seen a fat lot from him. Obviously, he's got a Champions League of Barcelona, but I reckon I could play left wing with Messi on the right and maybe... <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> the moment you're like, oh, he's got one with Barcelona, I was like, where's he going to put himself? In what position is he going to play here? Yeah. I reckon I could. Look, I, wish we could do that. I wish we could do that. Me and Messi up top, I want to see yeah. how, many, how many goals we get between us. <laughs> And uh, right, finally, Europa League final predictions as well. I've Which got back to Sevilla. I've got back the specialists. I yeah. thought Inter Milan were fantastic when I watched them, but like Sevilla, just they have been rock solid every time I've seen them play, and they just seem to know how to win these games. Mm. To be like, oh yeah, we won five, you know, Europa Leagues, or it might have been UEFA Cups when they won the first one or whatever in in fourteen seasons. Madness. Yeah. Um, That's ridiculous, right? Uh, Henners, what do you think? I th- I think it'd be Inter. I think yeah. That, I think that um, that Conte is just an unreal manager, and I think he'll just set him up to not get broken down. They'll just be so defensively resolute, and I think that we've seen that Sevilla do give up chances, and they are just so ruthless. You know um, that Lautaro Martinez and Lukaku, them two up top, like you give them a snip and they're going to score a goal. Well, yeah, I think the Europa League final is hard to call, though. Um, especially the form Lukaku's been in as well lately. Um, Andy, finally. Yeah, I think, Inter, I think Conte yeah. is the modern-day Mourinho, to be quite honest yeah. with you. 
in the play, I know Martinez is a top player, but in Lukaku, they've got a lad who scored over 30 goals this year. And I do think that's probably one thing that Sevilla are lacking. They've got great players going forward, but they haven't they got like him, one, like one striker, striker yeah. where it's like, he's going to win us this game. And I think Lukaku will be that man. Isn't he on the run yeah. of scoring in 10 Europa League games in a row? Yeah, yeah. Oh, which is just, just crazy. Ridiculous record. Right. The results of the meme competition. Okay. Strap in. Now, to be fair, this was a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, this was this was a whitewash. Okay, in He's third really place, himself over there, and I think we know why. <laughs> in third place, also Andy, you just said that Conte was the modern day Mourinho. Is Mourinho not the modern day Mourinho? That's the point he's making. It? He's not anymore. Shadow of his former self. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, right, back to the memes. Um, Graz, you're in third place. <laughs> So With 332, way, way yeah, 332 votes. I'm Andy, look out! Huh? I'm not holding much hope. 371 points for second oh, place. It's, it's Andy place Taylor. Now, in first place, with 1,513 votes, is Henry. That, that is, is a whitewash, isn't it? That is a whitewash. Congratulations! Great, it's a great bit. It's a great yeah. bit. And the, I can't argue with that. The mystery word. Anybody want to have a it. retroactive guess? No, it would have been in some of that stuff that Andy was spouting around statues, I reckon, but I can't remember. Statues? Oh, it was around the statues, yeah. Neanderthal. Neanderthal. Oh. Mm. oh so that's quite an easy one, that. Yeah. I mean, well, especially, because, especially when we're talking about football fans. Because, <laughs> I, because I put it in some great context, though. What did you say? Ronaldo's statue. I said, like... Now, N- yeah, Ronaldo's did, statue is Neanderthal. Oh, oh, you did. I remember you yeah. saying it, but I just remember it, agreeing. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that is all from right. us this week, folks. Uh, thank you for joining us on another episode of Dream Team Coach TV. Uh, enjoy this weekend's amazing lineup of football, and we'll see you next week to talk about it. Until then, take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>